In a humorous new video, Maya Hawke made fun of her dad Ethan for trying to flirt with Rihanna. The actress, 25, was thinking back on some paparazzi pictures from a basketball game in 2015, where the star was seated next to Ethan, 52. He was talking to Rihanna, 35, while watching the NBA All-Star Game with his son Levin, who was 13 at the time. In a recent interview with Variety, Ethan made light of the fact that he had been photographed openly flirting with Rihanna. Then Maya teasingly remarked, openly trying to flirt. The joke was then continued by Ethan, who added, yeah, trying to flirt, and so that's been to the family shame. In the pictures from the time, he was seen reclining in his seat as Rihanna chatted with him while holding a drink in her hands. The pair discussed nepotism issues in their conversation with the publication. When asked if his daughter, who stars in the Netflix series Stranger Things, was considered a Nepo baby because of the fame of her famous parents, Ethan Hawke and his ex-wife Yuma Thurman, the actor and his Stranger Things co-star responded. However, he didn't give Maya a leg up with their new movie Wildcat as Ethan put it. Instead, she came up with the idea for the movie and invited him to help with the direction. Simply put, I'm a Nepo dad, Ethan said, and I don't feel bad about it. But Maya was more reserved about being a Nepo baby. She acknowledged feeling insecure about working with her father during the filming of the project. I had moments of insecurity about it, but there aren't many nuanced things on the internet. My father has been a tremendous teacher for me, and we want to collaborate. We enjoy being in each other's company. Maya not only moves the project along, but she also produces Wildcat. Ethan acknowledged that, despite initially coming off as defiant, viewers could decide for themselves whether Maya had benefited unfairly from having famous parents in Hollywood. It's completely reasonable for someone to criticize us for cooperating. He said, you have to allow people to express their opinions. You simply have to make an effort to perform well on stage. The acclaimed Southern Gothic author Flannery O'Connor is played by Maya in the movie, which has received a SAG after waiver, so that she can promote it. Wildcat centers on the wise blood author as she struggles to finish her debut book early in her career. The father-daughter team claimed that Maya's long-standing obsession with O'Connor was what inspired her to propose the movie. When it came time to audition for Juilliard, Maya prepared a monologue based on O'Connor's A Prayer Journal because that is when she first started writing. Maya acknowledged that she sent the monologue to Ethan while he was filming his Magnificent Seven remake, so he could assist her even though neither she nor her father would acknowledge that her parents were the primary reason she was accepted to the elite school. She claimed, he assisted me in coaching, and the thought persisted. Ethan wasn't sure that Maya's family alone had earned her a spot at Juilliard, despite the fact that she was accepted, and then dropped out after a year to star in the BBC adaptation of Little Women. You can get an audition with the help of famous parents, but they won't get you in, he asserted. Because of the pull that Reading O'Connor had on Maya, she persuaded her father to let her direct a movie for his production company under the influence about the author. She mentioned Ethan's recent work directing and starring in the literary adaptation miniseries The Good Lord Bird as one of his qualifications saying, I don't know anyone else 